Now let's understand the third main component of Google Dialogflow that is context. So context works in a way that it governs the conversation. For example, if you and I were talking about, let's say Barack Obama, and you asked me who is Barack Obama and I explain you that Barack Obama was a former president of the United States and now suddenly you ask me what is his age. You and I both know that we were talking about Barack Obama and that's why I will say that Barack Obama's age is something. So this is what context is all about. In dialogue flow, there are two contexts, input context and output context. Let's understand them both. Let's say we have a scenario where we want to ask bunch of information to the user like name and mobile number. So user starts the conversation with a hi, bot will reply hi, please provide your name. At this point. Boat will set a context, await name. Now, when user provides his name, the intent which has similar phrases to this where user provides name plus input context, await name, that will only trigger. So dialogue flow will match the input context, second the training phrase. Now, Boat will reply, nice to meet you Raj, what is your mobile number? At this point, dialogue flow will set await mobile context. User will provide his mobile number. Uh, there is a mistake here. Let's say my mobile number is 1234567890. When user provides this, dialogue flow will First, make sure the phrases matches with the intent and the intent must have input context await mobile same as the previous conversation output context. So if you can see here the pattern previous conversation output context must match with the next conversation input context. In the next video, let's look into dialogue flow and build context-driven conversation.